What's up everybody, welcome back, my name is Luke Mick and this is my review for And So It Goes. So And So It Goes stars Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton and it's directed by the guy who directed Stand By Me, Princess Bride, and When Harry Met Sally. Most recently he was in The Wolf of Wall Street, he played Jordan Belfort's father. His name is Rob Rayner, I believe, I don't want to pronounce his name incorrectly, but I believe that's what it is. Now this movie is basically about a very rich man, Michael Douglas, who's trying to sell his house for about $8 million. And that's kind of a small part of the whole thing, but he has a son, he used to be a a heroin addict and he needs his son needs Michael Douglas his father to watch his daughter while he goes to prison for six to nine months and Michael Douglas for whatever reason is just like no I don't want your stupid daughter he's just kind of a bitter old man his wife died there's really a lot of drama in this movie it's it's definitely a drama but then it also plays off as a comedy basically there's just a lot going on in this movie with a lot of the characters you know that was something that was actually kind of refreshing at first in the beginning of the movie was like everything that was happening because there were a bunch of different arcs to all these characters and a lot of things that had happened in their past that I actually found to be very interesting. Now the movie itself isn't too long, it's pretty short actually, and it was pretty easy to get through. A lot of it really isn't that funny, and Michael Douglas honestly is just not very likable in this movie, and I never am really fond of him in general. Diane Keaton is definitely a likable character in the movie, and she does a good job. It's just like a really basic, kind of just feel-good movie that just makes you feel good. Sometimes the drama is a little ham-fisted, and there's some pretty cheesy piano chords that use, that are used as transitions to other scenes which kind of gives it a very sappy feeling, but I actually didn't think And So It Goes was that bad. It had a lot of interesting characters actually, which really surprised me. The story was intriguing and I got into it, but like I said, there's just some of the drama is just a little too heavy and it just doesn't always work. But anyways, that's my review. I'm going to give it two and a half out of five stars. So this is Luke Mick signing off. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.